right. Oh, I'm already about an hour in um, to a bit of playing, so uh, I thought I may as well kick off the stream early um, and do a little bit of Thursday night streaming um, for you all. So I'm going to go and do get back into the game. Um, uh, it's, so far, it's been all right. Um, been doing a bit of tournament play. Managed to just use that right flipper for days strategy on Star Wars, um, and just keep on flipping, basically, and it works like really effectively. Um, so yeah, that's all you got to do. Right flip all day and just keep trapping it. So yeah, do that. Um, before the flips challenge expires and you should get a pretty good uh, rank uh, that's for pinball noir I was about 400 on that before I did it and then I just uh, took the advice of I think it was probably Wilbur's or M11 in the uh, stream and I uh, just kept on concentrating on multi ball and remembered to actually look up at the stupid skyscraper thing where the flashing window is managed to get a 20 million um, jackpot on that one which was pretty nice um, as far as hurricane goes well it can just go away um, and fishtails I, I nearly got up to my um, leaderboard score on that so you know some progress was made some tables were played um, but we're starting on the stream now and um, I think I haven't actually done for a while crypt so it's either crypt or I don't know. Um, they've got a whole lot of marble tables there that I've not really played very much of, and honestly, I'm I'm a bit sort of eh about the marble tables now. I think we've seen them all, um, and I think we're a bit over it. But I don't know. Maybe I'll just do a bit of uh, World War Z or Z as everyone likes to call it in the Northern Hemisphere, if you're in the US. Uh, so, you're good to go. I decided to see if I can um, kill my video card and uh, turn on HDR and ray tracing. Ray tracing was already on, HDR wasn't. So I thought, well, why not? Why not try? What I have been finding strange um, in this particular session, though, is that uh, I, I get this weird effect on the controller, it just keeps rumbling when it hits a post, instead of making a little, like, bump, or like, you know, when the ball is supposed to sort of be coming through um, an area of the playfield, it seems to just vibrate forever, like when, a, when the ball just dropped off to the playfield then, like about a three second vibration, which was not, not great. So it could just be that I need to turn the control off, turn it back on again. You know, usual fix in IT. IT 101. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Ooh, just made that around. This is one that I haven't paid, played for ages either. World War Z. And I actually don't mind it. It's not a bad table. This will chew him up. Over here. Look. Where? Ah, yeah. Get the loot. Is that what I'm doing? I don't know. I think I want to get the loot. That's what I want to do. All that. That's also good. There's no way good. out of here. Mm. This is a death trap. We gotta get out. Gee, it's twice now I've missed a shot. The stim pistol. It's alright. It's only my first game back on this. I haven't Go played for ages. Rad. Is that that really cool mode where I get to shoot things? Because I like that mode. 
just need to oops work out where that shot is again oh man no Sorry. we go together too burned up by keep it. your medkits handy oh man I can't dolly in that skill shot I've got eyes on a screamer we gotta shut him up where is that screamer oh yeah Shot on him. Shows Boom, shagalaga. Screamer down, dropping a goodie bag. No, oh, Wilpers, coming for you, mate. Yeah. I think that was just your weekly score, though, mate, wasn't it? Right. Picked up a supply sack. Hey. Okay, cool. I'm reloading. Um what? Okay, I got this. Oh man. Those little dudes that come out of the uh pop bumpers scare the living out of me. Why not someone they don't scare together, the living out of me? We can go. More, they just annoy the crap out of me because they look like they're interacting with the ball. Alright, what am I doing here? Uh, uh, up there. No, that's not the one I want. Door open, bring it in. Ooh, right, Going that's down. one lock. Yeah, it's vibrating so much. All the Grab the supply sack. Okay, I got this. I've got eyes on a screamer. Okay. We gotta shut him up. Oh, he's up there, is he? All right. Ah, oh, that's not him. Ah. But again, before he starts pulling his rose, I'm not gonna get him. More Too targets here. Take him out. Enemy down. It's all right. Fire the stem shot. I still get some points for that, so it's not too bad. Enemy down. Ooh, no so there's my ball. Yep. They're coming from everywhere. Run. Coming right for us. There you go. Let me serve as your your friendly lunchtime reminder to go and eat some food, Willis. Um, it's good to eat. But I'm a bit early tonight. It's actually 9.20 here. So normally it's 10, which would be probably a little bit closer to your 12 or whenever you have lunch over there. Um, but yeah, I'm going a bit early because I've already been playing about an hour's worth of pinball and I thought, no, I should probably really stream this, shouldn't I, since I'm already here. Gonna go again. You're good to go. No, just falling short or long of that skill shot at the moment. Still got fighting to do. Yeah, oh yeah, you're a late lunch sort of guy. I am not. I usually go. Or is it lunchtime yet? At twelve o'clock, and I want to eat. But. uh... Sometimes if I'm sort of engrossed in work, I, I can last until uh, 1 o'clock. But yeah, normally I'm gnawing my elbow off at about 12. Vibrating just so much at the moment. Ever since okay, I turned, I, got this. I think it was ever since I turned HDR on, it just started to what would normally have been just a 
a light pulsing rumble when you hit a target or hit a you know a playfield um, object is now like a a continuous rumble for like about three seconds, which is up annoying. But uh, again, it's the first time it's happened, so I have a feeling I might just have needed to just reset my controller. But I've sort of got used to it now. Grab the supply sack. Bag of stuff right here. Could be a Steam. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There could be a Steam patch today. Um, I know that the folk on console have got it, so um, that is good. Um, obviously, it's good that they get it first because you know they have to wait the longest in a subject to such. Um, tricky Go get him. You know, I've got eyes on a DLC rollout, so I have no problems with them getting it first. Where are you? Oh, man. oh I just missed him. Oh, just got him. Oh, that was close. I had to look at the changelog for um, Steam. Well, for the PlayStation release, uh, looks like uh, Twilight Zone has got a lot, a lot of love in this uh, release. There's numerous fixes, mostly to ball handling, it seems, which will be welcome. No. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying out that after they resolve all the, uh, Keep the your ball handling handy. bugs. Oh man, just cannot get that skill shot. Goodie bag. Big gun set. Get together and we can go. Whoa, okay. That was really full on. No, I haven't actually seen the video of the guy who was a, a massive Twilight Zone pinball fan. You're saying he has a life size gumball machine? Got a supply bag. Like one that actually, like just not the pinball machine, but actually just Twilight Zone in general. It looks like a Zeke nest. Stay together. What am I shooting? Zombies on a mini playfield. Oh yeah. How does one get up there? I wonder. Oh, the big ramp. Right. Okay. Yes. Unfortunately, I think. Oh, here we go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh, here we go. Oh, man. Ah, trying to just, uh... Oh, check it out after the, uh, oh, stream. Look, there's no way out I always like to see the, um, the mega fans really get into something, hey, where there's someone that, you know, just has a room dedicated to a thing. 
it's pretty cool to see how passionate people get about a thing. Hey, look at look at that. You're good to go. I got the skill shot. Why still that mode? Okay. Okay now, a stim pistol. Man. I would have thought that I'd be out of this mode by now, but obviously it keeps you in it until you complete it. Reloading. There's no timer. Okay, let's kill them. Oh, what are you supposed to? What are you? Oh, stupid tilt. Okay, how are you supposed to get the thing over from the other side when it's like? When no matter what you do, you punch it up there, or you shoot it up there, it just always goes to that side and then drains immediately. I don't know. He said he's got an unbelievable, impressive front door. It's a front door that you cannot touch. the start button that's amazing uh, what do we want here this oh no Woodstock is in trouble hit the spinner or the bumpers to help Woodstock Sorry about that with the microphone. Has to Managed to suppress it. Multiplayer raised. Oh, brother. Shoot for Snoopy's doghouse to start a main mode. Pitch it to him, you blockhead! I oughta knock your block off! All right, you stupid beagle. Let go of this blanket right now. Let go of this blanket. I thought I'd never see this blanket again. It was a dark and stormy night. Red Baron and bring him down. Seek out the Red Baron and bring him down. You grit your teeth, you can't fail. Seek out the Red Baron and bring him down. Pitch it to him, you blockhead! Flying ace. Jackpot. 
jackpot. If you grit your teeth, you can't fail. Yeah, I would agree that this table is probably the pick out of all the Apple Arcade games. Uh, Will visits. It's just got a flow to it. There's something about it. It's it is it's not easy by any means, but oh, my little pony! Like it's if you can get past the theme, it is, you know, okay, but the one that really, I really have a hard time playing is Trolls. Um, Trolls is hard going. Trolls wasn't one of the Apple Arcade ones though, was it? It was, um, it was just a, a pack release during Early Access, I think. Or was it? I don't know. What else came out with that? MLP and... Oh, it was part of the DreamWorks. Yeah, so it was part of the Apple Arcade thing, right? I mean, let's, let's just... I'm probably going to lose viewers here. <laughs> but let, let's just experience this thing, because it is... It is something else. I mean, look at it. It is. Well, well. It is. Let's try that again, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Let, let's just call it visually intense, shall we? Um, so much so that you actually have difficulty tracking the ball on it. Well, I do. Multipliers, right? And it has especially. Wow, okay, that was close. Well, I wish hug hour was Hello. Like half hour. Welcome to the stream. Whoa, far out. Oh, <laughs> oh, this table. Oh, man. Because time zones are hard, it is currently uh, on my clock, uh, 9.35 in the evening, uh, on a Thursday, here in Bris Vegas, Australia, which is the closest capital to where I am. Trolls love surprises. Balls. Every troll is different, but these, these look weird. Let's dance. We will save this. Oh, that's later. right. I've got to shoot Both the pop-up trolls. And it's like, I say, I say that with some surprise because uh, it's so colourful. I kind of miss it that we've been popping up. <laughs> there we go. Let's nail these little twerps. Yeah, shoot them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh man. It's 
super bumpers mode. We. I'm still playing that mode. Okay, I thought I'd. Yes. The, the musical cue gave me an idea that I was. I've ended that mode. But no. Still gotta whack him. Oh. You come back here. Have you ever thought about why the bumpers are flashing? Whoa, okay. Oh, Paul lost. Okay, you're still popping up though. Okay. Oh, you. What? Skills. Okay, mode keeps running. Okay. One more, just Ball one more save. to go. One more to go. Come on. Oh, man, come on. That was quick. Uh, no worry. <laughs> okay. Time. Game over. Huh. All right, and that's enough of that. <laughs> yep, and that is going to be the highest score that I ever post in this game because I'm not playing it again. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Wilbur's. I I think I I, uh, I don't know. I think I uh, I don't know. I would probably for me to work out whether it ranks where whether My Little Pony is. <laughs> ah, so that's how it works. Your favorite quote. Yes, I know, every single time. Um, but, uh, I don't know, the, the Trolls has some pretty cringy moments in it too, as far as call-outs go, but at least it's not as common as that particular quote. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know, it's going to be a while before I get back into that one again. One that I haven't done a lot of since I was doing all that streaming to the, the Twitch page was the this. I'm doing people. a bit more on this. Because it's... Welcome fellow Titan Chasers to episode number oh, 116 right, of the Titan girl. Trackers podcast brought to you by Lizzie. Still no confirmed Titan sightings, Hi, but Lizzie. things appear to be heating up at Apex Cybernetics. We're hoping to get fresh info to you from the Apex Insider at Titan Truth within the next few hours, so stay tuned. So what do you all reckon the best table out of this lot is? Is it the, um, the team-up table or the individual tables? What one do you reckon does it for you? Evacuation. Titan alert. This is not a drill. All Apex employees, please proceed to the nearest exit. Breaking news here, listeners. Godzilla has been seen approaching the Apex facility in Florida. Let's hope our friends over at Titan Truth Podcast are no longer in the vicinity. This Titan doesn't look like he's paying a friendly visit. Skillshot attempt failed. Kong, I, I could say, uh... Proceed to the fallout, Two point it will is, is, It's an odd... It's an odd table. Like, it... The, the callouts in it are not neither neither Chris nor I favorite. Level two personnel um, this way. Let's go. Let's go. But uh, yeah, it's it's got some interesting shots in it though. It's definitely one you got to sort of have a few goes on, I think. And yeah, those posts brutal. Shoot for the flashing lamp to perform a skill shot. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Yes, you'll have no choice but to actually get on Kong. So, I mean, it's good. I mean, this is why I actually quite enjoy 
doing the events because there's often tables in there that I groan about when I see them. Fighter jets being deployed, Captain. Oh, oh man, that, that fighter jet coming straight towards the cliff gets me every time. Um, it's like Yagoff in F-14. Those missiles are having no effect on that monster. Help him attack. Watch out! Incoming attack! Godzilla jetpot scores increased. Kong jetpot scores increased. Dude, this the, monster uh, going to give up? The building, his uh, death ray noise. Sounds really cool Fighter when jets it builds. Being deployed, Captain. Ah, so you got to wizard mode on Castle Storm. That's interesting. I've never actually seen it either. That's all we've got time for on Titan Tracker today, my wonderful listeners. Bye-bye. Be sure to follow... Wow. Okay, twice in the same game is... It's very good. You would have got a decent uh, leadable position on that one. Let's have a look at the An ecosystem vast as any ocean, right beneath our feet. Hollow Earth. The land where God did well, not finish creation. Well, it's remind me again about which one the a place clear where ramp myth is. And science meet. Is that the one that's the, the side, the side shot? Because I always have trouble getting that one. Buckle up for the ride. Let's go. Oh yeah, that one gets me all the time. Doing here, shooting. There was there is a school shot to close. be had there, and when Chris was playing this game, he actually managed to get it. But I have a lot of trouble getting it. What view am I in? Yeah, not the correct one. So this table has got lots of wow. Okay, not doing no, well on this one. Yet. I'm just gonna restart. This is Hollow Earth Launch Station. Prepare to launch. Oh, that's a good tip. So, in Castle Storm, you keep the kickback slip all the time. I think it's a. Uh, it gives you the call out defensive positions or something like that in the game. When you uh, light them. But the. Isn't the kickback shot like a target off to the very. Like really late from the right flipper? I can't quite recall where the actual shot is to light it. Because it's not like on a roll overlay. It's like really late. So this game, Wilb, is for your benefit. It's it's a bit like um, Rim Tales in that you've got to shoot that center. Um, the, the center sort of bash target. Just like the castle or the saucer, you know. Uh, and there try and... To be another way get your locks that way buckle up for the ride let's go oh it's getting to bumpers several times no wonder I never get kickbacks what an odd mechanic to actually makes get no sense kickbacks from we'll bumpers anyhow keeps it fresh I guess right Kickback oh, is lit. Focus. Don't give up yet. Kickback activated. Okay, so that that's the thing. Kong frenzy. Kickback is lit. Kickback activated. And I got it again. Okay. Well, that's easy that enough. That was to get. unexpected. Get the extra ball. Where might we find that? 
Oh yes, I see it. Extra ball it's flashing off to the right there in the scoop. Hey, there we go. Just dribbled in. Look at all those shiny rocks. Swoop shiny in and rocks. collect them. I wonder Why what their purpose is. Wrong game. We must study them further. Reverse gravity propulsion. Sample collected. Kickback is lit. Flying rock. Mm. Are there any more lying around? Oh yeah, there's one up in that. Uh... Out there. Quick, let's collect that surge of energy. Rock's ticking, pal. To... The experiments have angered Colm. He's going after our equipment. Well, that's gone. <laughs> this hey, is what I mean about the weird call outs in this game. It's like, oh, that's gone. Hey, that was expensive. And now we've got to shoot. What do with the drones? Multipliers raised. Oh man. He's cooling down. Finally. This is Hollowworth ah. Launch Station. Prepare to launch. Ah, uh, right, okay. So those inline drop targets are worth hitting, are they? On Castle Storm. What do you get when you knock down the inline drops? Kickback is lit. Easy enough to bounce it. Whoa, okay. Lock is lit. Okay. Open. Here we go. Man, that pull comes out really fast. You gotta watch yourself. No time to relax on this table. Kickback activate. It's good that the kickback doesn't disappear. Reverse gravity propulsion! It looks like it's just a light from left to right or something like that. Here we go! Oh, okay. Warbat, gravity, don't hold that gravity inversion is horrible. Um, I guess we'll do the recharge. Oh. Recharge. Avoid Godzilla's heat ray. I don't understand. He led us here. Where's the energy source? Look, Kong is searching for the right place to charge his axe. That was close. All oh, right, okay. So Time's up. We gotta you go can the clear the way to the bumpers. Um, Buckle up for the ride. Let's go. Hmm. I'm just reading your um, post there. Uh, okay. Start shades mode. Yeah, it's really not a game I've spent a lot of time on, so I do need to go in there and have a bit of a poke around the real shit for it. I think it's definitely one that... It's not immediately intuitive what you need to get. Focus. Don't give up yet. So, um... Ah, <sighs> oh, sorry again. Hellhawks everywhere! Oh, okay. Let's kill them, I guess. That one's really going psycho. Let's see if we can get it. Nice! Here. Yep. This makes no sense. But we'll take it. <laughs> like, what is that quote? This makes no sense, so we'll take it. But Something's we'll take it. Weird. Okay. okay. It's some kind of gravitational anomaly. Okay. Set the ball free. Shoot it! Alright, good. Yes. Aim for the jackpot lanes. Kickback is lit. We like jackpot lanes. We have to do those crazy war bats first, what they are. Nice. Oh, oh everyone to the clubhouse. Look at that. I think. Everybody good? Hmm. Fall back. This is not our fight anymore. I'll tell you what. Pasha is one I want to like 
but I just have so much trouble getting into the um, uh, the book of whatever it is to start modes. All I end up doing is just shooting it into the 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 right. I want to say castle, but it's probably not a castle. And doing that frustrating mini playfield mode, and that's about all I can really do on it. But yeah, the yeah, that's another one you really need to read the instructions on. It's those really early, early pinball FX tables, or like you know FX2 tables, weren't they really? Those are the ones that have odd ways of getting to things. Like Tesla was a good example of that. To get a mode in Tesla, you had to like shoot up to the magnetic drop targety thing, drop all the drop targets, then get the ball behind the drop targets to start a mode, which is like really hard. You know, not an easy thing to do at all. So. Um, it's sort of uh, just a touch frustrating. Uh, what am I doing here? I'll just mosey on down here to... Uh, do I want to do Twilight something different? What I haven't really done a lot of is... Party Zone. I actually wouldn't mind doing Party Zone on. Um, uh, not flips. Time challenge. Okay. Mind time challenge on this table. better than me trying to start modes on that thing. I can not work out the mechanic of that magnetic mechanism on Tesla. I just I just can't get the ball to do what, what I need to do. It's it's just feels really um, lacking control for me. But I'm sure once you work out how it actually works and how it flings the ball around it, it actually does make sense. But it's just one of those things that isn't immediately intuitive. Multiplier. 2x multiplier and span the right lane, right? Oh, old mate's lit again. Alright. See what it gives me this time. Zone. Try and get it into the cottage. No, bricked it. This time. There we go. Hey, dude. Alright. And of course, try not to drain immediately when uh, all the balls come rushing down towards you like a bat now. Oh, just like that. Every single bloody time, I tell you. And then have it rattle around there so you can't get it up around. Good times. Yep, that's enough for me. Oh! Just let it dribble down so I can get to it. Ah, oh, can't get the shot on. Oh man. 
Ah, oh, I just gotta get the... There we go. one but at least I'll get a score in this leaderboard which will be quite nice. Oh, don't even flip that time. Why is it still counting down when it's in an uncontrollable state? Haha, <laughs> okay. It only stops now. Here we are. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. It's funny, I got the, the Twitch overlay. And I forgot to set the uh, transparency on it. Uh, so all the messages are just like hewed up on the right hand side. <laughs> I can't see any of my scores. Anyhow, I have to go and change that setting. Uh, I just want to remind myself of what's going on in Twilight Zone. With the hope, as Wilbur's says, that hopefully we get a patch. You and also, I haven't played this with um, um, HDR on, so. Last night. And it was interesting in that the kickout was quite predictable from the scoop. You could actually let it do pretty much what it does in this, but instead of going all the way up the the, the lane like that, actually only really just got over to the left flipper. You had to sort of trap up. Which made it really good because it was really controllable. But um, the only problem is though they they had made the game quite challenging to get door panels on. Like the slot machine wouldn't relight as easily as it normally does on this. So probably if I played pro mode, it would be a bit like that. The other weird thing, the uh, one that I played on last night, it was set pretty shallow, so it was a little floaty. And when you adjust the rake a fair bit on this particular table, you have to be cautious about 
how the ball kicks out of the rocket because it will quite easily foul up on the um, the entrance to the the town square. So I'm going to go shoot that ramp down. There we go. Now we got some action. Whoops. Oh, oh, okay. Don't think that sh should have happened. I just... That's really interesting. I was just... Plunging... I was just pressing the plunger. But... There. And another ball just spawned. So, that's interesting. Oh, oh, far out. I hate when he goes wild like that. I lose track of it so quickly. Come on, let's just get it back up in there. Oh, double balls up in there. That'll be interesting. One. Come on, Jackpot. Shoot the camera down. There's a ramp. Where's this ball coming from? It's already burned up one ball. I should have another one on the play field. I think. Whoa, everyone to the clubhouse. Whoa, it just keeps on giving me balls. Thanks very much. Okay with that. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm playing a five minute challenge. I didn't even realize. I was. I thought that I was. It doesn't actually keep your play preference. Between games. So that seems to be different. Well, that's interesting. Doing a door panel challenge won't uh, pay many dividends here. But... It's really all about just small balls, I would think. Never the power in the yeah. Oh, really? Everyone just goes down. Nice. Didn't want any points anyhow. Interesting. Fireball challenge on this. What would you do on this to capitalize on fireball? On the fireball challenge. Um, five minute challenge. Oh. Wilbur's bacon, mushrooms, and chicken flavoured rice. Right, that's it. I'm getting on the plane, I'm coming over. <laughs> it's gonna be great. You can't really go a lot wrong with bacon and mushrooms. It is really the perfect combination. Key of imagination. Whoa, okay. I don't even think I plunged that then. Wilbur's is lunch done in the slow cooker, or is it just like something you put in the oven and let it do its thing for a bit?
mushrooms and bacon. Nice and easy. I decided to have Burger King tonight and I already regret it. Not quite enough for this. Hey there, M11. Welcome. I decided to try a five minute challenge on Twilight Zone. Just to see what comes out of it so fast. So ridiculously fast. Yes, I am just trying to flip the flippers and spam to try and get that jackpot shot off the shot there. Oh, there we go. Two in there for the price points. Oh, that's going to help. Us. HDR on. To answer your question. fine for me. I can see everything very clearly. But everything is nice and sort of lit correctly from my perspective. Okay, 146 wasn't as high as I got before. Interesting. You can actually, uh, with HDR, you can do both the UI and the game, which is interesting. So in the settings, you can go to settings, video, and you get both UI brightness. So you can have it like mind meltingly bright like that, which is ridiculous. Or you can have it down a bit like that, like about 300 or so. And the game brightness, I, I sort of think 500 feels good. Well, it looks good on my screen. I don't know what it looks like on stream because this is the first time I've actually tried HDR on stream. So it could look like rubbish, but I guess I'll find that out when I'm streaming. Um, Wilbur's hasn't complained. I've just got I've got the thing connected up to a 4K TV, so I just 
thought, well, it's worth a shot. Um, so I do it, but you'll notice that I've got my resolution set to 1920 by 1080, so it's not 4K or anything like that. It tends to, even though I've got like a RTX 3080, a 10 gig 3080, it still seems to chunk along a bit there. And the thing is, I'm not recording at 4K, I'm only doing like 60 FPS at 1080 or something like that, so... Fog, interesting. That could be because of, well, I think I'm recording at 60 frames a second. Um, but, I don't know. Are you seeing that as well, Wilbers? Are you seeing any sort of, like, fog? What does Monster Bash look like with it? Oh, hang on. Okay, I guess I'm doing a five minute challenge. Ah, the creatures of the night. What music they make! Right. So a current gen mid-range piece of video card, hey? So in the RTX sort of range, or whatever the, the um, AMD version is, or something, something different. Honestly, if you can, if you've got enough RAM in your PC and your processor is decent enough, if you get the video cards where you spend your money, isn't it? And arguably on a, a solid state drive as well, that can actually help a little bit. Somebody fetch me a razor! Okay. Come on, kid, come on! 6700 XT. If you can, if it will accept 32 gig, it will make a notable difference to performance. Uh, I did that with my laptop. It was a 16 gig installed, um, two 8 gig sticks, and yeah, putting 16 gig each side in made the thing just rocket. Yes, I've only recently cut my convert to uh, SS uh, Solid States. Uh, I had one in the, the laptop and now I've got one in the gaming PC and they're just very good. That's not what I wanted to do. Get away from me, you flea no, that's right, I'm playing 5 minute challenge, no time for a beverage. Oh yeah, I've heard that's a common thing that you do as far as like picking the drives where you don't actually need super fast access for like the mass storage, like your music and your media and stuff like that. But yeah, for operating system, it's it's beneficial to have a SSD for that. I think mine's just one two terabyte drive. I haven't got it segmented like that, but it's doing pretty well. It's a box that I'm playing on here. I mean, it's. It's managing the streaming, plus I'm playing it at a fairly good clip frame rate, so... Well, sorry. I'm playing at 60 frames a second, which honestly... I'm actually alright with, honestly. For me... Some people obsess over frames, but... I'm just going... I don't know. This seems fine. I'm sure there's more to it than that. But... Uh, The TV that, that I'm connected to here has a mode which I've enabled that will allow me to go into 120 hertz if I want to. So double the refresh rate that I've got now. Um, so I could do it if I wanted to, but really that's as high as it will go.
so HDR and performance. Um, I'd definitely say that when FX was in early access, it was notably bad, and also you could not see anything at all. Um, but since it's gone on to Steam, I this is the first I've tried it, and it's a marked improvement. Um, like you can actually see everything, you've got way more control over it. I, I suspect that because HDR is on all the um, current gen consoles, they had to do something about it. So that's why it's it's performing as well as it is now. Ooh, that was a stall. You know, I reckon you if your card's that? capable of doing HDR, it, what have you got to lose? may as well chuck it on and give it a go if you if you've got the monitor for it. Um, but I mean, as far as performance claims go, I haven't benchmarked this or anything. I don't mess around with that sort of stuff. But. Uh, doesn't really seem to make too much of a difference now, which is good. Uh, just in time for the game to end. I'll say that um, looking into it, it was an unintentional pun. I didn't mean it. Oh yeah, sorry, it wasn't directed at me. I'll pay that pun though. I think it's a good pun. It's very good. Alright. Okay, five minute challenge on this. Could be interesting. like the event mode really. HDR compatible monitors in the sort of what I guess what you call smaller sizes now they're not altogether too bad in price I mean everyone's idea of what good in price looks like is obviously subjective but they were really expensive at one point but they've come down dramatically in price and the good thing is that all the video cards have got wider and wider support for them there's actually you know ones that HDR and also G-Sync compatible and stuff like that now too so you really do get two benefits for one purchase on all of these monitors now which is worthwhile doing started playing this evening I started to start the slow process of downloading all the streams that are up on Twitch and uh, pushing them up to YouTube. I've only got one up um, before I started getting stuck in. But you know, some of the longer streams that I did, they're like about 8 gig. So it's going to take a while to upload. Even with the, you know, the, the 19 meg per second 
broadband I got here, which you know, does a pretty credible job for most things. That will take a while. That's okay. It's just a matter of waiting. Um, I think it has something to do with um, highlighting, setting them as highlights, um, which I could do is set them all to like a highlight for the entire duration of the stream, which I think you can do. Um, so I could always try doing that. I don't know what's better. Like, is it better having them on Twitch? Is it better uploading them to YouTube? Like. I'm just not quite sure what the best storage mechanism for them is. It sort of feels... It feels like it's better to have it on Twitch, at least visible, so your channel looks sort of busy, but... I don't know. Also, not having to re-upload them is a nice... <laughs> a nice benefit. That's true, Will Wizard is apparently moving between their servers, although I've set off a number of them to do the... Well, I submitted them for, I guess, export, which is what they call it, yesterday, and they still haven't come over. So I've got a feeling that either the size is too big or something else is at play. And the, the frustrating thing is that it gives you very little feedback about what's going on as well so it's like you sort of go oh okay I'm going to export them set some basic metadata and then after that it's like and what now so yeah I'm not I'm not even sure the export worked so I don't know I set it to a public link not a private link when I exported it as well so maybe that's got something to do with it I should give it a go on, I've, like, the the Blycade channel is all um, certified and, you know, in good standing and all that sort of stuff, so I shouldn't need to break up the files into 15 minutes like they offer in the UI, so, yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I should uh, have a bit more of a play with it after the stream and just do one of the more recent ones and see if I can get that one shunting over to YouTube. Maybe even this one. Who knows? Give it a go. Uh, a bit of indie, but not that mode. Yeah, good point. Recent and short is probably a good idea to work out where the failure is happening. So yeah, definitely this one is not a good candidate for it. Although if I do get it to split up into 15 minute segments, that's actually probably also a good test to see if that's what it needs. But I don't, I don't really know if people want to watch 15 minute segments of a stream, probably not. So almost need to do, as you say, like just do like a five minute or 10 minute just quickie and see if it exports. Or actually probably maybe a 20 minute stream just to get over that first 15 minute sort of limitation and just to see if it 
It goes up after that. Yeah, so you're right. I'm doing it wrong. I need to isolate the problem first, don't I? Classic IT. There's nothing to fear here. Oh, Indy looks very nice with HDR turned on. I'll say that. Just like you're playing it in a dark room. The other thing that you can do as well, Wilbers, and it's what I'm doing this time around, is actually recording the session locally. So you can record and stream at the same time using Twitch Broadcaster. I stopped doing that for a while because I thought, oh, it's cool, it'll just go up to Twitch and it'll be happy, you know, but then I was reminded, thankfully, the community helped me out and set me straight on that, that uh, the recordings are straight, uh, saved. So I thought, well, back to recording locally then, because at least then I have a, a good local copy of the video and it's one one jump less you know I don't have to download it then upload it which is good because the export process from Twitch when you request a, a video to download is painfully slow Whoa, look at those lights up here Whoa, so good with HDR there we go have that definitely say that the accessing the mode start saucer from that left flipper is 100% possible in real life too because I did it on the uh, indie last night at tournament so I wanted to test it out and yep very possible to do it
just been past the grace period. that just a little bit less than two just a little bit oh, what seven six hundred something million to get the the rest of the things it's not bad
Oh, that was close. Let's just... There's nothing to fear here. Oh.
Ah, oh, come on, get up there. Oh. find that jackpot ramp to save myself. Of course, now I can. Obviously. There's no triple lit on it. Oh! Yep. M11, a 9.8 billion game, and this is no mean feat. That is a, a very good run. Uh oh, yep. I think I might actually leave it there for tonight since I've been playing this for like nearly three hours now. Not on stream, but an hour before I actually uh, started streaming. I thought I'd just have a an offline game. So uh, thanks uh, everyone for joining and having a chat. I always appreciate it. Um, so the next stream might be my Sunday night or Saturday night I think I've got it scheduled I'm not sure how that's going to go because it's um, Sunday's normally a change every day but with the kids so we'll see I'll see if I can fit one in but you can pretty much guarantee the, the Tuesday and Thursday night ones are givens um, so yeah look out for those ones during the week to keep you entertained over your lunch breaks and sort of more afternoons probably in the northern hemisphere so yeah Thanks again, and uh, I will. I'll catch you next time. See you around.